Welcome to the Calypso Tutorials. In this session, we'll introduce the new PyWeb reporting tools in Calypso 2015. In order to activate this option for any existing program in Calypso 2015, simply go to the Measurement tab, click on Multiple Printout, and check the box to activate multiple printouts. You'll notice the default option is PyWeb reporting, and the default protocol is the standard protocol. If you already have results in your program, you can simply click on the monitor icon to preview what the report will look like. At the top, the Zeiss Calypso will navigate you through the report. The Zeiss logo will take you back to the beginning. In the top right, we have some additional tools, including printing, display the default report, output to PDF, save any changes you've made to this existing report, display additional graphics, and filter the output. Below that, we have our standard header information. This is easy to edit to your desired requirements, so you can add or subtract additional parameters that you can include in the header. Below that, we'll display all of your characteristic callouts. The nice thing with this report is it is interactive, so anywhere you click, it'll bring you to that portion of the Calypso program simply by clicking. So for those programs that are incredibly long with hundreds of characteristics, it's quick and easy to click and find your way to that point in the program. You'll notice this will also display the groups, so as you program, if you've identified those within the program, they'll easily be displayed as well. If we take a look at our additional graphics, we can look at a detailed view of the standard protocol. This will add in any of our graphics that are associated with any form type callouts. Here you see an example of cylindricity or flatness. If you right click on any of the graphics, you can adjust the form plot, the magnification. You can also rotate it to make sure it's in an orientation that makes sense for how the part was measured. If you hold the control key and click on any point, you can gain additional information directly for that point. We also have the output for bore pattern, so we can take a look at what that looks like, slightly reduced. Now let's take a look at some of the other protocol options that are available with Calypso 2015 and PyWeb reporting. If you click to select, one of the first options is the Accept Protocol. This option will allow you to view multiple measurement information by viewing the value chart. Similar to the standard protocol, we have the interactivity built in. So anywhere you click, it'll take you directly to that part in the Calypso program. We also have the ability to turn plots on with the same functionality to edit the magnification and the orientation. The benefit of this chart is that you have the opportunity to approve or lock any of the measurements, meaning they can be used for evaluation purposes in the database or removed. Because it's PyWeb, we can come in and adjust how many measurements we want to see displayed on this report. So you see as I edit that and update it, I can see my value chart updating as well. The next report we'll look at is going to be the plot protocol. This option will bring up any of the graphics that are integrated into the Calypso program and it puts them on their own individual page. Similar to before, we still have the same editing function built in interactivity with how it's displayed. And you can see this for any and all graphics that are saved in the program. The benefit with this is its ease of viewing. So if you need to display any of the graphics at a higher magnification or easier for someone to read, it's a nice quick way to output. We also have a process protocol. In here we have the capability to view SPC information. So we'll see any error pattern per workpiece and per characteristic. So if we take a look at the data, we can check to see if there are any trends. 
Now again with PyWeb reporting, you're looking at about 10 parts, but it still gives you some information to look at. And with PyWeb Reporting Plus, that increases significantly. Then we'll take a look at the table protocol. This allows you to look at multiple measurement values in one report, so you can compare characteristic values across multiple parts. Again, I can click anywhere in the report. It brings me directly to that position in my program. And I can select which measurements I would like to view. I can choose by date, by measurement attribute. There are many different options available for this. And finally, we'll take a look at the VDA protocol. This is a standard German form that gets used. The nice thing with this is it's easy to edit, so you can add or subtract any of the functionality that's built in. It's a combination of manual input and automated reporting. So you can type in any of the input fields, activate checkboxes as needed, and it will also pull in directly from Calypso. Now any of these forms can be edited to your desired needs and requirements. The one thing you'll notice in Calypso, anytime you want to edit a form, you'll have to choose to create a new file name. This is to protect the original format so that it doesn't get overwritten. You can choose to create generic templates, meaning that they can be used for any program that's created in Calypso, or measurement plan specific templates that are used just for a particular program. Thank you for joining us for the PyWeb Reporting Overview.